Hi, my name is Chris Black, and I'm here on the VizRT booth at NAB 2018. We're on the set of the big AR show. Now, one of the key things that we're showing during the show this year is this volumetric photo scans. So let's take a look a little bit about how this works. Well, first off, we went to Innsbruck, Austria, and met with our friends at Art Fabric. My name is Matthias Hosp. I'm the CEO of Art Fabric, the company uh, that owns this uh, photogrammetry rig. Uh, it's a system consistent of 110 uh, cameras and we managed to get all the uh, cameras shoot at the same time. Once the pictures are taken, we put them into a software uh, that calculates the camera positions. We get uh, 3D points out of it and those points get triangulated again and the result is a super high resolution 3D model. Now let's take a closer look at that and we're going to go over to our handheld camera so we can take a closer look at the details of this 3D model. You can see it is actually an extremely high resolution 3D model that we've added into the studio floor. So you can go in there and because it is these 110 extremely high resolution mod, uh, photos taken from the DSLR cameras, the 3D rendering itself has a lot of detail. So you can go and you can see the folds of fabric. You can even see the individual uh, strands of hair on my head. And here in the big AR show, one of the key things that we're showing is the ability to do real-time motion capture in the studio. Now here I have my co-host Chris Orange out here dancing away. Now Chris Orange is not a pre-rendered animation. There's no keyframing going on here. What we're looking at is real-time motion capture rendered in real time here in our virtual studio. So we have Tina over at the motion analysis booth. There's Tina right now. Now she is wearing a motion capture suit and she's inside of the motion analysis rig where their cameras are tracking her movement movements, turning that into motion capture data. And that is streaming over to our booth here at NAB. And so we're able to then apply that to this bone and skin models that we have in Viz Engine and be able to have the real-time motion capture going on in our studio. So now we've come to the other side of the convention center here at the Motion Analysis booth, and I'm here with the president of Motion Analysis, Mike Kasirk. Mike, can you tell us a little bit about how motion analysis is allowing us to create this real-time motion capture? Thanks, Chris. We're here at the Motion Analysis booth. We have our 16 camera motion capture system that is streaming the data live from Tina, our subject, directly into your booth through a live link in real time. So we have the markers placed on the person or object, and then that data in real time is tracked by our cameras, and that camera streams into our software, and that can stream directly into your software to give that realistic movement in real time for any of your shows. And this is happening extremely quickly, even faster than the, the video leak that's coming over to us. Yeah, our data is streaming out in real time in about three to four milliseconds, so it's very quick and very robust and allows you to get all the augmented reality experiences you want for your performances. Uh, the great thing about this is Tina you know, could be any kind of character. So it could be a mini me, it could be a robot, it could be anything that you want virtually. So that gives a lot of interaction to your performances.